Hey, real quick for all you my team players out there, stop wasting your money on packs. Instead, hit up NBA 2K Ing for trusted, reliable MT. Make sure you use discount code DATBOY for an additional 5% off. You never want to lose on a twos again? Well, this video is going to give you all the information you need to never lose. The first thing you need to know is you gotta have your badges. So if you need badges, hit up my boy Sports TMB. Make sure you tell him that I sent you. He does badge grinding service. It's fast, it's reliable. He also does an account selling service. So if you're looking to sell your account or buy another account, you can hit him up for that as well. Like I said, make sure you tell him that I sent you. It's 100% trustworthy. It's a great option for you to save yourself time and money. Go check him out. Link will be in the description. Today I woke up and we hit 42,000 subscribers and over 5 million channel views. Like I can't, like 5 million views? That's unbelievable. So here's what I'm gonna do. If this video right here hits 1,000 likes in the next 24 hours, I'm gonna give away a code in my next video for y'all. So make sure you got notifications on, make sure you hit that like button, and hey, just as a token of my appreciation, I'm gonna give out a code. So let's get into the real reason you're here. You want the twos combination. Now you see here, we're running a playmaking shot creator and a pure stretch. This doesn't have to be the lineup, but there's a few keys to the lineup that make it so cheesy and overpowered. The first thing, the center has to be a shooter. I would say a pure stretch, but I guess if you could shoot with a rebounding, like a sharp, you know, a stretch rebounder or something, I guess that'll work as well, but they have to be able to shoot consistent. The guard position, has to be tall, preferably 6'7 or above. Right here, the playmaking shot creator leak I'm running with is a 6'7 playmaking shot creator. So, center's gotta be able to shoot, guard's gotta be tall. Reasons being, you're gonna get a lot of kick out shots for your center running this lineup. And obviously, you're not gonna make all your shots. Having a tall guard, he's gonna be able to get the rebound, kick it back out, or get the rebound, go back up. Whatever the case is, you gotta be tall in that guard position. Also, being tall in the guard position allows you to play sides on screens if you have to, and he can provide, you know, at least resistance to the center and eventually get a stop. If you have a small guard, the paint is so sweet this year that that small guard is going to get destroyed by a, by a good inside center, you know. The next thing you got to have is a player who can dribble. Now, I would prefer a speed boosting player. I know speed boosting isn't as good as it used to be, but momentum behind the back is really OP and... It's just better to have a speed boosting player like the playmaking shot creator six seven can speed boost so it's a it fits both things it's tall and it can speed boost so you don't have to be able to speed boost but they have to be able to dribble they have to be able to iso because a great way to run this lineup you could run the pick and pop pick and roll whatever but sometimes the best way to do it is just let the tall quick speed boosting guard just iso the smaller guard on the other team you know if he, you know, but gets by his man, then he either has a dunk or the center has to help. And since your center can shoot, he can't really help because you're going to be smacking. So you see right there, I missed a shot. He gets the rebound because he's so much taller than the other guard. That other guard's probably 6'4", maybe. I don't know, his afro makes him look a little taller, but you, get, you understand my point. You have to have that height. That height allows you to do many, many things. Rebound. Uh, you know, you can get inside layups that other guards can't get. You can play defense better because you can play sides, all those things that I talked about. So those are the main things. They also a great thing to have. Uh, most speed boosting players have dimer, which is going to help that shooting center hit more threes. So it's just everything. It's just the perfect storm. Now, the only way you might struggle with this lineup is if they have a really good inside center, you know, like, well, I would say a post score, but Post scorers are probably going to get lagged out anyways if they drop step or spin. So a lot of people don't use that, but like athletics, a lot of people run with those like shot creating athletics or pure athletics and they're really overpowered in the paint. But if you spam X and stay between them and the hoop, like eventually you'll get a stop. And then once you get that stop and you get the ball back, then you just got to play smart, take good shots, you know, make sure you knock down your open looks and don't turn the ball over. So like I said, it doesn't have to be this lineup. I got another example right after we end this game for you with another lineup. The next lineup I use is a 6'10 point forward, pure point forward, and my stretch big. Listen, it's really preference. Like this lineup, he can shoot off dribble shots consistently, so it might be a little easier. But with the 6'10, your defense is better because he's taller, he's stronger, he still has the ISO game, his... 
uh, inside scoring, I think, is a little better just because he's so tall. You know, the 6'10 pure point forward this year, I know people on Pro-Am use it a lot, but on the park, bro, it's still, like, godlike. And then with this lineup, too, since you're both basically, you know, he's 6'10", so you're both basically 7 feet tall, like, the backdoor cuts and all that is just crazy OP, you know, ceiling inside position, the rebounding, the defense switching everything, like don't don't take that for granted the defensive side of these lineups because you're both tall if they're running that pick and roll pick and pop whatever you can just pick up on sides like you say oh you can do it with a small player as well no doubt about it but uh, that center gets inside position on a fucking six three pure sharp like you guys know how the pain is in this game that's that's easy buckets all day for somebody so tall with this lineup even if a pure athletic switches on to you know the 610 picks up like a pure athletic obviously the pure athletic has the advantage but he can provide resistance and eventually you know after three four five possessions you're gonna eventually get a missed shot and then hopefully you get the rebound you guys know they'd be tweaking on the rebounds in this game but look at a 610 i want you to just analyze the 610 like obviously you could cook up but look at if like he's just sitting back like now nah, he can't shoot he can't shoot they can shoot, bro. Their, their stats are... I already made a video about how OP 610s are. 610 pure point forwards. Like, now he's starting to come out and he's like, no, nah, like, he's nervous as hell. Like, you can't... You really can't stop a 610 pure point forward if he knows what he's doing. And since I can shoot, the center or whatever the other guy is... I think the other guy's a small forward in this game. He can't help off me. Obviously, I brick right there on some cheese, but... Look at the defense both tall as shit he's trying to work his way but we're too like he can't get inside on the 610 bro he eventually has to take a bad shot we board up and we go right back to it i'm gonna just space the floor with my shooting and then he can just cook up do his thing defense is mad nervous because he's too fast too athletic too tall kick out he's got that dimer too like everything just works perfectly together Everything helps each other. The stuff that I provide from my player helps support him. And the stuff his player provides helps mine. It's just the perfect... Oh my god. Just the perfect storm. Like, these lineups. So, I suggest you go try it out, man. Like I said, the major keys... <laughs> DJ Khaled. It's like, no. Um, the major keys are that the guard is tall. The center can shoot threes. The guard can iso. The guard can speed boost, and the I think I already said, and the guard is tall. Those are the main things. Like I said, you can pick up on everything, play sides on everything. Your defense is overpowered. You can run pick and roll, pick and pop. You can cut back door because you're both tall. You both can score inside. You both can score outside. He has dimer, which helps me shoot. His height gets rebounds, which helps me when I miss shots. Everything, it's just a great great lineup because you both help each other with your badges with your attributes and your play style your play styles really really like support each other nicely so i suggest you go try it if you don't agree with me that this is the most cheesy overpowered lineup a tall guard that can speed boost and a shooting center let me know what you think is the most overpowered lineup down below and maybe we'll have a little discussion down in the comments all right I appreciate all the support, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Drop that like so we can hit that 1K likes, and I'll do a giveaway tomorrow. Well, then tell me who deserve it. Eyes get low, but I'm still observing. I see you lurking. Never see me out in person. I'm always working. Money on your head if you make a nigga nervous. Never made a move out here unless I was certain. Tatted on me, but this shit is deeper than the sun.